Imagine growing up in a world where you have to sacrifice your childhood to make ends meet. Imagine not getting to have an education because you have to go to work at seven years old. Imagine not advancing in your social skills because of the tasks you have to accomplish. This is a social injustice. When people think of sustainable clothing manufacturing, most people don't think about the social implications that come with unsustainability. Most people think about sustainability as a solely environmental topic, when in reality, it encompasses more than just that. Sustainability also means having ethical laws and social justice. Today, I will be talking about the social injustice that clothing manufacturers have created in third world countries. The unethical working laws, and more specifically, the child labor that still to this day continues to take place in our world. International Labor Organizations, ILO, concludes that there are around 170 million children that are employed with unlawful working conditions. Either the children are too young to be participating in such employments or has been ruled dangerous to their health. While it is illegal to participate participate in child labor in many countries, it has not been forbidden in all foreign third world countries. It is seen as cheap, easy labor. Why is child labor such an issue? Kalpana Sirva Stava defines the issues of child labor as, it refers to work that it is mentally, physically, socially, or morally dangerous and harmful to children and interferes with their schooling by depriving them of the opportunity to attend school, obliging them to leave school prematurely or requiring them to attempt to combine school attendance with excessively long and heavy work. These kids are being deprived of an education. Because of their time commitment to their job, this lack of education among the children of third world countries continues a cycle where people are unable to get out of poverty. The children are not only losing education and future opportunities to have a better life in the long run, but they are also being directly affected when it comes to their health. The working conditions can be dangerous and unlawful as a whole. Now, why am I talking about child labor in the fashion industry? The fashion industry is the number one contributor to child labor. Children usually work in the cotton industry because they are praised for their small hands so they don't destroy the cotton crops. They create textiles for big companies and since there is no need for education in these jobs, children are hired more so than adults. They are not protected by law and much of the time are underpaid. As found out by the Center of Research on Multi Multinational Co Corporation, SOMO, the most notorious countries that have child labor include Egypt, Uzbekistan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, Thailand, and China. What are we doing to eradicate child labor? There are various things that companies can do to decrease child labor. There are many different organizations and groups that work together to make the textile manufacturing productions more ethical, sustainable, and transparent. As a consumer, you can do your research and prevent buying clothes from brands that use child labor. You advocate on social media to raise awareness within other people. And lastly, you can support those companies who are making an effort to go green and be sustainable in all aspects. Let's create social justice within the clothing industry and prevent child labor from growing.